A weather instrument that you probably have in your home is a thermometer. Thermometers measure heat. They tell us how warm or cold the air is. When you read the number on a thermometer, you are reading the air temperature. High temperatures mean the air is warm, and low temperatures mean the air is cold. Sometimes when you are riding down the street, you'll see a big thermometer in front of banks and other buildings. When we take weather measurements, we also need to know how much air is on top of us. We don't feel air unless it's moving, but air is strong and sometimes heavy. Look at this. Air is strong enough to hold you on top of a balloon. To measure how strong the air is, we use an instrument called a barometer. When the barometer shows a lower number, we say the air pressure is low. Low pressure comes along with cloudy weather and sometimes stormy weather. When the barometer shows a higher number, then the air pressure is high. High pressure brings clear skies and usually dry weather. You can see this instrument on top of houses and barns. It's a wind vane. When the air moves across the wind vane, it makes the wind vane point into the wind. That way we know where the wind is coming from. The wind vanes that meteorologists use look more like this. You can make your own wind vane using cardboard, scissors, tape, a sewing pin, a pencil, and a straw. Cut out the cardboard into the shape of a small rectangle. Then cut a triangle out of the rectangle, as you see right here. Tape the triangle to one end of the straw and tape the other piece of cardboard to the other end. Now stick the pin through the middle of the straw so that it is flat with the pieces of cardboard. Now stick the pin and straw into the eraser on the pencil. You've just made a wind vane. When the wind blows, the wind vane will show you where it is coming from. Now which way is the wind coming from? Meteorologists measure how strong the wind is with an instrument that spins, called an anemometer. The stronger the wind is, the faster the anemometer spins. Wind is important to know because it pushes weather around the Earth. Winds come from four main directions, but you need another tool to know what the directions are. That tool is called a compass. A compass is an instrument that shows which way is north, south, east, and west. Once a meteorologist knows where the wind is coming from, he or she can know if it will be a wet wind, dry wind, cold wind, or warm wind. Learn which way is north, south, east, and west where you live. The directions always stay the same. It helps to remember that the sun rises in the east, and sets in the west. Did you know that even when the weather is dry, there's invisible water in the air? It's called humidity. Humidity is a way to tell how much water or moisture is floating around us in the air. The instrument used to measure humidity is called a hygrometer. A low number on a hygrometer means the air is dry. That's what you find in a desert. When hygrometers show high numbers, we say the air is humid, and that means that clouds might form to make rain. When piles up, you can measure it with a ruler, but to measure rain, you have to catch it in something first. A jar will work fine, but meteorologists use a rain gauge. A rain gauge is a tube that has numbers on the side to show you how much rain fell. Clouds are easy to see with our eyes, but we only see a small part of the sky. Meteorologists use weather satellites to look down on Earth to show the clouds all over. 
Once you know where you are on Earth, you can see the clouds that are moving your way. Some clouds make rain or snow, and we need to know that so we can dress properly. When there is rain or snow, we use a tool called a radar to know where the rain or snow is falling. Radars show precipitation as it falls to the ground. When snow falls and piles up, you can measure it with a ruler, but to measure rain, you have to catch it in something first. 